Hey everybody, this is Dan. I'd like to share a quick chess puzzle with you guys. In this position, it's white to move. The white pieces were played by Victor Korchnoi, one of the great uh, all-time chess players. And um, white has a winning continuation here. So feel free to pause the video, look for the best continuation for white, and when you're ready to hear the solution, press play. Okay, so you can see by the placement of white's rooks blocking off the G file and H file, uh, by the centralized location of the, the white knights on d4 and e4. Um, other things too, the, the black king is guarding the black bishop, so if white could drive the king away, there's at least the potential for capturing that bishop. Um, but more than that, you, you get a sense by the placement of white's pieces that checkmate is a possibility here. So uh, what white plays first is rook to h7 check. The only way to answer this particular check is by moving the king to e8. And now the king is stuck on the back rank. The king is unable to leave the 8th rank because of that white rook on h7. Okay, from here white plays knight check on d6. And since that 7th rank is off limits, the only move for black in this position is king to d8. After which there's the very attractive checkmate with knight to e6 taking the bishop and checkmating the black king and you'll see that indeed uh, the white pieces kinda are really really well coordinated in this particular position and uh, with the rook check followed by the knight check and the other knight coming into the action to, to finish the checkmate uh, the, the pieces are all perfectly placed to checkmate black's king so anyway it's a very clean very forced mate in three so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm gonna try to share more videos as as uh, videos as frequently as I can so um, thanks for watching and feel free to like comment share anything is appreciated thank you